Welcome, have a nice day. Today is Wednesday, 29th of May 2024. This day is celebrated as International Day of United Nations Peacekeepers. The International Day of United Nations Peacekeepers falls on 29th of May. This day is celebrated to honor the sacrifice and dedication of the people uh, who work for peace worldwide. From the history point of view, in 1601 and up to 1900, uh, 1658 Battle of Samuga. Yeah, this is a battle in the struggle for the throne during the Mughal War of Succession. Starting the newspaper analyst with the newspaper, the Hindu state is that United States aid Gaza to Gaza. Stalin as a military pirate temporarily uh, removed from cost for repairs. Uh, United States built a temporary pier that had been used to deliver additional uh, humanitarian aid to into the Gaza was damaged by rough seas and has temporarily suspended operations. Pentagon spokesperson Sabrina Singh said a portion of the pier had separated and that the pier would be towed over the next 48 hours to assure it. Uh, port in Israel uh, for repairs. A United States military built pier of Gaza cost is being temporarily removed after a part of the structure broke off and the Pentagon said on Tuesday in the last blow uh, to efforts uh, to deliver humanitarian aid to Palestinians. The pyre was announced by United States President Joe Biden in March and involved in the military and assembling uh, the floating structure of the cost, estimated to cost $320 million for the first 90 days and involve about 1,000 United States service uh, members. It went into operation two weeks ago. The Hindu also stated that 145 countries now recognize a Palestinian state on November 15, 1988 during the first Palestinian Intifada or uh, uprising. Palestinian leader uh, Yasser Arafat unilaterally proclaimed an independent Palestinian state with Jerusalem as its capital. Israel's war in Gaza since the October 7 attack has received a global uh, push for Palestinians to be killed in a state of their own. Norway, Spain, and Ireland on Tuesday became the latest countries to recognize the state of Palestine, breaking with the long held with the Western powers that Palestinians can only gain statehood as a part of the negotiated peace with the Israel. From 2011 to 2012, United Nations recognition in 2011 with the peace talks at a standstill. The Palestinians pushed ahead with the campaign for a full United Nations membership for the state of Palestine. The quest failed but in a groundbreaking move. On October 31 of the, the, that year, the United Nations Cultural Agency UNESCO voted to accept the Palestinians as a full member. In response, Israel and the United States suspended their funding of the body. They quit UNESCO outright in 2018, although the United States rejoined last year. In November 12, the Palestinian flag was raised for the first time at the United Nations in New York after the General Assembly overwhelming voted to upgrade the status of Palestinians to a non-member observer state. Three years later, the International Criminal Court also accepted Palestine as a state party. Now, in 2024, a new push in Europe, Israel's relentless offensive in Gaza, which has left at least 36,050 people dead, according to the territory's health ministry. In retaliation for Hamas killing of uh, more than 1,170 people in Israel, has boosted support in the Europe uh, for Palestinian statehood. After the month of warning, uh, Norway, Spain and Ireland uh, on Tuesday finally uh, took the step with the Spanish Prime Minister, Pedro Sanchez are describing it as a matter of the historic justice. Malta and Solvania, Slovenia have also expressed a readiness to recognize a Palestinian state when the circumstances are right. Australia too has floated the possibility of the enduring Palestinian state and President Emmanuel Macron has also said the question is no longer a taboo for France uh, while uh, insisting it must be done at the right moment. Indian peacekeeper to be honored uh, post Thomas Lee with the prestigious United Nations Medal for the sacrifice in the line of duty. A United Nations logo and a flag is seen uh, during the United Nations General Assembly at the United Nations headquarters in New York. Nike Dhananjay Kumar Singh, who served with the United Nations Stabilization Mission in December, Republic of Congo, 
will be honored posthumously. An Indian peacekeeper who lost his life serving under uh, the United Nations flag is among the over 60 military police and civilian peacekeepers uh, to be honored posthumously with a prestigious medal for their service and supreme sacrifice in the line of duty. Naik Dhananjay Kumar Singh, who served with the United Nations Stabilization Mission in the Democratic Republic Congo, M-O-N-U-S-C-O, will be honored uh, posthumously with the DAG of the Hamar Stalled Medal during a solemn ceremony on May 30, uh, when the United Nations commemorates the International Day of United Nations Peacekeepers, a press release issued by the United Nations said on Tuesday. The Hindu News World states that absence of the written national security strategy does not mean India does not have one serious uh, chief of defense staff, uh, General Anil Chauhan. Chief of Defense Staff General Anil Chauhan said India would have not been able to revoke the special status of Jammu and Kashmir under Article 370 or carried out a Uri and Balakot strikes without a policy. The absence of a written national security strategy NSS doesn't uh, mean the country uh, does not have one Chief of Defense Staff. General Anil Chauhan said on Tuesday, he said if there was no policy, the country would not have been successful in revoking the special status of Jammu and Kashmir under Article 370 or carried out the Uri and Balakot strikes. When we talk about an NSS, I believe it comes to policy process and practices to succeed in our country. Probably all three are addressed. The only thing missing is a written policy. I don't know why people insisted on that, General Chauhan said at the launch uh, of the book Crafting a New Art of a War, authored by Lieutenant Colonel Gautam Das Ritayor. The point of the Hindustan Times News report is that election commission released voter to now data for phase six within three days of polling. The poll body has also released details of the absolute number of the votes uh, cast for the Lok Sabha uh, poll phase six. The phase six of the ongoing general election is in which uh, 58 Lok Sabha constituencies, including the seven seats of Delhi, uh, went to polls on May 25. Saw a voter turnout of 63.37 percent. The Election Commission of India said on Tuesday. Sometimes also states that national archives, uh, no, sorry, national archives, first overseas project in Oman preserves uh, diaspora records. The National Archives of India (NAI) has completed its first overseas project by the digitizing and archiving uh, the documents of the Indian diaspora in Oman, whose presence in the West Asian country dates back almost 40 to 50 years back. The oldest document dated uh, back in 1838, National Archives of India. The standard was also stated that Sandeep Singh, an Olympic shooting dream visualized at a hit frozen Siachen post. Uh, Sandeep Singh, now at 28, the Naib uh, Subdir attacked, attached to the Sikh Light Infantry, has stopped the start career so far. Sandeep Singh fondly remembers the day he first got a hold of an INSS rifle at the Indian Army's training ground in the Fatagra, Uttar Pradesh, eight years ago. The Scrimney Sada had the weapon and the took aim, uh, producing a 2M grouping at the practice target placing 300 meters away. A wave of the uh, bewilderment and the disbelief swept through the trainees and the instructors. The Sunday Bill also states that in analysis, assistance of the $1 million for Papua New Guinea after landslides. In on Tuesday, announced immediate relief assistance worth of $1 million, uh, sorry, worth uh, $1 million for Papua New Guinea after a massive landslide in the Pacific Island. The nation buried about 2,000 people alive and caused widespread destruction. The landslide tore through a uh, area of 600 km northwest of the capital port of Moors by in the early hours of May 24. Sizzling welcomes as the temperature hits 43 year high in gateway to Kashmir. Jumman Kashmir is reeling uh, under a heat wave with the mercury hovering some 67 degrees above normal. The gateway of Kashmir Kajigan broke yet another temperature record with the mercury touching 34 degrees Celsius, the highest ever temperature in May in 43 years. The Meteorological Center in Srinagar said uh, the heat wave is expected to continue in Jammu for the next seven days while Kashmir may get some relief from May 30. 
According to the economy of the country, from the business point of view, Reserve Bank of India launches a retail direct mobile app, Fintech uh, Repository. At present, 60 applications forms covering the different regulatory and supervisory uh, departments of Reserve Bank of India have been made available on the portal. Reserve Bank of India, Governor Shakti Gandhi Das on Tuesday launched three major initiatives. Prava Porter, the retail direct to mobile app, and the fine fintech repository. The regulator said the fintech repository will contain the information of the India fintech firms for a better understanding of the sector from a regulator perspective and facility in designing appropriate policy approaches. RBI launches mobile app uh, for a GSEC transaction and introduces uh, portal for sub form, form submission. RBI on the Tuesday launched three major initiatives including a mobile app and uh, to enable retail investors to participate in the government securities GSEC market. The Reserve Bank of India on Tuesday launched the three major initiatives including mobile app to enable retail investors to participate in the government securities. Prava platform for regulatory application validation and, author and authorization. Portal is a secure and a centralized web based portal for any individual or uh, entity to seek authorization, uh, authorization, sorry, license and or regulatory approval or any reference made by it to the Reserve Bank of India. Government puts on hold the new wastage uh, norms for gold and silver jewelry exports till July 31st. DGFT has said that the industry and the council can provide information data to the Concerned Norms Committee within one month. According to DGFT, hereby the places of the public notices dated on May 27, 2024, in abeyance on up to July 31, 2024, with the immediate effect of public notice by the direct said. Uh, going towards the world news, including uh, Wisconsin uh, unions argue for overturning 2011 law that ended nearly all collective bargaining. How Trump would crack down on United States immigration in a second term. Iraq oil ministry a call for meeting with the Kurdish authorities uh, to resume oil export. Israel incursion could halt Rafa. Last functioning hospital, World Health Organization says, United Nations chief says horrors in Gaza must stop after deadly rough strikes by Israel. What can make the progress against the money laundering European watchdog? The control size and tech IoT Bombay DC has set to build India's first quantum diamond microchip imager. With its advanced capabilities uh, to identify chip defects, the quantum diamond uh, microchip imager is a leap forward in a semiconductor imaging. The quantum diamond uh, microchip imager, an advanced sensing tool for semiconductor chip imaging, will help reduce the chances of chip failures and improve the efficiency of the electronic devices. The IIT in Institute of uh, Bombay has entered a strategic partnership with the Tata Consultancy Services to develop India's first quantum diamond microchip major. This advanced sensing tool will hold the potential to unlock a new levels of precision uh, in the examination of semiconductor chips, reduce chip failures, and improve the energy efficiency of the electronic devices. Debate over the Osmania General Hospital new building versus heritage preservation. Telangana Jana Samiti President M. Kodandram uh, addresses at the round of the table conference on the new building of construction of Osmania General Hospital in Hyderabad on Tuesday. Either constructed the new Osmania General Hospital OGH building uh, by demolishing the heritage structure or provide us another location where a new building can be constructed. Without having the heritage site, stated doctors and the experts during a roundtable conference at OGH on Tuesday, Mr. Kondandaram, uh, who was chief guest at the event, acknowledged the urgency of the resolving the hospital issue. We should petition the government and I will support this effort. Our first priority should be to secure a new building at the current location. And if that is not feasible, then we should present an uh, alternative location, he stated. Mosquito species from Asia pose a growing risk to Africa's anti-malaria efforts. Uh, mosquitoes cling uh, uh, to the inside eye of a jar, located loaded with a repellent during a test as a part of the tour of the Center of Disease Control Laboratory, Thursday, April 4, 2024. 
The spread of an uh, stepency is particularly concerning uh, because of the mosquito has the, a number of characteristics that uh, make it difficult to control. The spread of the mosquito species uh, Anopheles uh, stepency across Africa poses a significant problem to the continent already heavily, uh, heavily burdened uh, um, by malaria. Most 90% of the world's malaria deaths are on the continent. How clothed uh, pig carcasses are revealing the secrets of the mummification. Taphonomistus uh, study the environment forces uh, that uh, drive change out of a body after death. It was the kind of task any competent uh, streamless seems stress or has completed hundreds of times before altering denim uh, genes and jerseys. But there was something uh, different about the, this piece of work, so uh, our team of scientists uh, were paying uh, for it. We are not her ultimate customers. The clothes were to be worn by dear pigs. At last, there's a famous quotation said by a famous uh, president of America, Nelson Mandela, whose full name was Nelson Rohila Hala Mandela. Born on 18 July 1918, up to 5 December 2013, was a South African anti apartheid activist, politician, and a statesman who served as the first president of South Africa from 1994 to 1999. He was the country's first black head of the state and the first elected uh, in a fully representative democratic election. His government focused on dismantling the legacy of apartheid by fostering racial reconciliation. Ideologically and African nationalist and socialist, he served as the president of the African National Congress Party uh, from 1991 to 1997. Mr. Nelson Mandela says famous quotation: "He says that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world." Okay, thank you.